Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a stab at getting uh, some MIDI files, songs, to play um, in Ableton that will shoot the signal through the translator and in the game. And by the end of the video, you will be able to play all your dueling banjos and hillbilly music all you want. Uh, so let's get started. So the previous couple instructions there in the guide uh, was to set up the translator. So I just want to go over this again. Um, in the translator, uh, once you open it up, you will want to hit the MIDI plug, and that will bring you to this screen. Just make sure that these uh, are clicked, the BOEM virtual port. Um, my instance, there was two uh, because I use other devices. Most cases, it will be one, um, but at least make sure those are, are, are checked off. So translator's up and running. The Scum Project BMTP file is running. Don't touch any of that stuff. Don't leave it or just leave it alone. It's very complicated and frustrating. And if it gets all messed up, nothing will show up. So anyways, that's all you want to do. You don't want any MIDI outs. Make sure all this is unchecked. Uh, and that's it. I would hit this one here, the gear icon, and that lets you start at minimized. Um, starting at minimized is probably just the best bet to do. So anyways, that's out of the way. What you want to do now is this is just Ableton started up. We got nothing here. Um, just just plain old base Ableton. You've gone through all your registration and done all that stuff. So let's just load up a file in here and I'm going to load up um, just something simple, easy. It's going to be a loop. Wu Tang song, Cash Rules Everything Around Me. And it's just that, you know, just that fancy little loop they have there. So that's loaded in. We're not going to do anything with that quite yet. Uh, what I want to do is make sure we have our um, MIDI set right, that it's going to the right places before we do anything. So that being said, I'm just going to get this game window out of the way. Okay, so I just for my own, uh, um, I always make this the live channel. That one there in the red. Monitor is always the auto. I don't want any MIDI ins coming, so I hit no input. MIDI 2, you want to click this. If you find uh, the BOEM MIDI translator in there as an option, click it. If not, configure. And for output, that's basically you want the BOEM. That's the translator. So make sure that those are uh, all checked. Translator is good to go. And that will be uh, where you want to start. Um, Next up is, here's your file, double click, and there you go. You, this is where this program is different than other ones like um, any other, I, I've seen some other JavaScript stuff that allows you to play music, but you can't set the tempo. Um, like here I can set tempo, um, no hotkeys. You can't even really edit the song. Like I know from my own use playing this, um, that it's just you can do all this on the fly and it's so much easier even if you have a MIDI device to uh, to load these files up and go okay these are out of the octaves edit and then carry on so anyways I'm not gonna edit yet we'll we'll just do a quick uh, quick run through here of, of some more steps to follow so basically you've got your songs loaded your MIDI outputs been set now what you want to do is uh, a hotkey and basically in options, you go to edit key map. Okay, and that brings up this nice brown screen. You will click on your MIDI file, right? And I'm gonna assign the hotkey is to be Z. Okay, so that's up. Hit escape to get out. Okay. So now we've got a hotkey set. Down in the bottom here, if you look, there's L for launch. So what you wanna do is you wanna make your launch a toggle so that way, you know, um, you press the button once, it'll turn on. You press it again, it'll turn off. It's just a little easier to work. You don't want any quantization. You're not trying to match it up with any other songs yet. So it, when you toggle it, there'll be no delay. It'll happen. So just for that, it looks, I'm just double checking. Everything's good. So once you're ready to go, um, you can just quickly hit your button. Just test it on, off, on, off. Okay, so this is sending signal to the translator which is good. Now we're ready. You can switch over to game, but before you do that, um, you will quickly have to hit your toggle button, then jump in the game. So let's see uh, how quickly this will happen. 
So toggle on and game. Okay, so as you see, some of the notes are out of range, and that's where the editing is going to come in. So let's uh, hit stop, stop. So we're going to bring up our file. So what I noticed is in this one, for instance, all these notes at the bottom, they're not even registering, not even interested in really having them. And this is where you can, unlike other ones, 